artist friends. Hello, artist friends. Today we are going to make dinner plates and place settings. So the first thing you're going to need is collect your materials. You're going to need yellow paper. White paper. White, white paper. paper. And you're going to need a bigger white paper, too. So three pieces, no, actually four pieces of paper, maybe five. So you're going to need about one, two, three pieces of small white paper, one piece of big white paper, and one piece of small yellow paper. You're also going to need to get a couple things from your kitchen today. So what is this, Jolly? Plate. You're going to need a plate. And a bowl. And a bowl. A plate and a bowl. And, and a nice big spoon. And water and paintbrushes and we are also going to need some markers, washable markers. Crayola washable markers are great. Any type of washable markers that you have. We're gonna need oil pastels or crayons. Either one will work. And we're going to need water with paint brushes. No paint, just water. The first thing that we are gonna to do today is we're gonna create the placemat on the big piece of paper. So you're going to create a grid pattern with your markers on the big piece of paper, okay? So a grid pattern is created using horizontal lines. Those are lines that are this way. And vertical lines, those are lines that are this way, okay? So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to take a marker, maybe I'll start with blue, and you could do straight lines, zigzag lines, wavy lines, whichever kind of lines you want. Yours is big right Let's get a different one. Yeah, and I'm gonna have the color blue. Mine's darker blue. There's a darker blue? I'm blue. Okay. I'm to my paint. Like this, that I Oh, blue. good job, Jolly. And now let's take some other colors to add to our pattern. We're creating a pattern with lines and we're creating a grid. So check it out. Now I'm adding lots of different types of lines. Look at mine. Beautiful. What color are you going to use next, Jolly? Whoa, that's how you do it. I want orange. I think we're almost ready for the next step. So once you have a bunch of lines going across your page horizontal and up and down your page vertical, you're ready to add the water effect. So we can put our marker caps back on the markers and put them in the basket or wherever the container for our markers is. And we can get our paintbrushes with our water for the next step. Good job, Jack. So we're gonna put this to the side. What? I'm gonna use you want to use the same one? And you're okay. going to paint the water right across your picture, right across your lines. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a very interesting effect. All right, so we're adding water all the way from one end to the other across our lines. And we're creating a very interesting effect because the water makes the washable markers look like paint. Okay, so we're just adding a little bit of water all the way across. Beautiful, Javi. And these are gonna be some beautiful placemats for our dinner set. We need a lot of water. Beautiful, and once you're done, you can put this painting to the side and we're ready to start doing our bowl and we're ready to do our spoon and everything else for our dinner set. So once it's done being painted, you can put it to put it to the side to dry. So now while our placemat is drying, we are ready to do the next step. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to make our plate and we are going to make our bowl. So for the bowl, we're gonna use yellow paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the bowl. Do 
So we're gonna trace it though today, okay? Cause that would get a perfect circle. So we're gonna take a bowl, we're gonna take a black crayon and we're gonna trace the circle. Now try. Okay. That's not a point. Can I have a high five? Awesome. So now that we have our um, perfect circle, our bowl, we are going to cut that out. But we're going to try our me. very best. Yes, Jelly, I will help you. So we're going to cut so out. I cut on the paper, not on the paper. We're gonna cut out our soup bowl. Paper around so it's easier, see? One more cut, one more cut. Good! All right, put that to the side. We don't need to. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here, Jelly, look, 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 look. It's okay, look. Trim and that little edge right there, okay? Now, we are going to trace our plate. So you need a white piece of paper. Take a plate, you can oh. use your plate. Put the plate face down, okay? On your paper, face down, and then trace it with the black crayon. White paper? Even better. You're getting good at your tracing. And then we're going to cut, cut, cut again. Cut, cut, cut again. I need this out. Now we have a bowl. Oh, a look, look at yours. Mm -hmm. Now we have a plate. All right, hold up your scissors. Okay, now we need a rectangle for our napkin. The easiest way to do that is we are going to fold the paper in third. Now we have one, two, three napkins. So if you're doing this project with your mommy, Mommy gets one napkin, you get the other. Doing this project with your brother, you both get a napkin. So we really only need one piece of paper, fold it in a third, because that's the right width for our napkins. We're gonna put a line so that we can best see what we're gonna cut, and we're gonna cut those lines. Now you have a napkin. That's gonna go to the side. And tomorrow you would do that napkin. You have a napkin. You want your napkin to be a little bit shorter. You can cut it a tiny bit shorter if you want, or you just leave it exactly as it is. Okay, now this is the fun part. You're gonna get your spoon and you're gonna trace it. Yep, we're gonna share, Javi. One second. You're gonna trace your spoon. But I need. Mine's turning to spoon. Do we need cut? Okay, and then we're gonna cut it. It's gonna be spoon, like this spoon. Mm -hmm. But it's not gonna be this. It's like this spoon. Magical. Can I use your spoon? Because I need to eat with my cereal. Here, eat your cereal while I cut you. Hmm. In my bowl? alphabet soup now. So let's do the alphabet soup now first. So you're going to get your yellow bowl and the reason why it's yellow is because yellow is going to be the color of our soup broth. That's the liquid that the soup is in and we're going to add our 
alphabet letters to make it an alphabet soup. So you're going to get your pastels or your crayons. Can you help me out? And you're going to write whatever letters you want, your favorite letters, whatever letters you want. You might add an A, you might do a B, and they don't all have to be in the same direction. Look, darling, my soup is going to be moving around. When you add your letters, you can move your soup around. See? What do you do first? I did A, B, C, but you could do whichever ones you want. I did A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, You can't do all o, of the letters. P, I'm going to try to fit all the letters yeah. as best I can. Q, R, S. I got T now. Good. U V W X. I did J now. Y Z. All my letters in my alphabet soup. I see Z with Z. Over here. That's my Z. Okay, so now we're gonna put our placemats together, okay? So we're gonna have our napkin with our spoon on, on top of it. We're gonna have our plate with our soup bowl on top and we're gonna glue everything down. So we're gonna need our glue sticks. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna need to take the tops off and make sure that they're twisted so we can get to it. And let's glue our, what do you wanna glue first, Javi? Alphabet soup. Well, let's glue the alphabet soup to the plate. So go ahead and glue corners and edges. There you go. That's why I want to put. You want to face it. Why do we don't need a fork and knife for this one? Okay. Yeah, and if you put it upside down. So here you go. Now we glued everything in place. Put mine over to the side a little bit. There we go. Now the final step. If you have a black pastel, then you can use that. If you have a black crayon, then you can use that. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of shadow. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow right over here and right over here. When we have shadow, we only have it on one side. Just like when you see your shadow outside, you only see it on one side, right? Okay, so check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of shadow on this side and a little bit of shadow on this side and a little bit of shadow on this side. And then I'm going to rub it in with my finger because the pastels you can rub in. If you don't, if you have just crayon, you're not going to be able to rub it in, but you can still add your shadow. Look, I did a little bit. You're going to do it on that side? Okay, so you're going to do it on this side and then over here. And now rub it in with your finger. You get your shadow. Can we rub it in with the crayon too? Um, no, just rub it in with your finger like that. you do a little bit more, but just keep it on those sides. You see all of the shadow. All of this shine. Oh, let's show our friends. You ready? Look at Jolly's beautiful alphabet soup. And Mama's alphabet soup. Yeah. Alright, let me get a high five for your alphabet soup. Mm -hmm. Let me get a good high five. One, two, three. Hey. Alright, should we say bye-bye to our artists? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, artist friends. Yeah. Okay, hit the red button. Red button. Mm -hmm.